Hi guys, this is a simple tutorial on how to use Proteus. We're going to start off with a simple program. So I assume all of you know how to use MPLAB IDE. So here I, I already have a sample program, uh, <coughs> which is on LED blink program. So the main program is actually quite simple. Uh, we'll be utilizing the knowledge that we have learned on delay. This is the delay portion, which we learned from chapter two. And this delay portion will be um, done using subroutine. So that is also knowledge from chapter four. And of course, we are using input output ports. So for that, we need to know how to configure the port threes register. So here what I've done is, um, this is actually the main program. So in the main program, as you can see, um, first thing I'm using port B. So we're going to use eight LEDs, then we're going to write a program to make the LEDs blink. So first of all, I made clear F3B so that all the pins in port B will become output. And then here I'm using uh, a calling a subroutine by the name delay. Now this delay subroutine, if you, if you are seeing this, now this this whole program is actually what we have learned in chapter 2. This is a delay or uh, a loop which creates 0 0.5 millisecond delay. So instead of writing this portion in the main program, and since I'm using this delay uh, in a repetitive mode, so that's why I'm making it into subroutine, so I can call the delay each time. So here what I've done is I have called the delay twice, which means I am actually delaying for one second. So first thing what I'm doing is I'm delaying the program for one second and then I set F port B which means all the LED in port B will be turned on for one second. You see after the setting of port B I call the delay twice which means I'm delaying it for one second. So after one second I clear F port B which means all the LED will be off and branch repeat. So which means the LED will turn on and off for every one second delay. So the delay subroutine is here, this whole program, as you have learned before. And if you notice that we are calling this duplicate operation macro. So the duplicate operation macro is defined on top here. This is a duplication no, uh, no operation macro. And of course, I'm using this loop count. Uh, just declare it or assign it to address 00, zero which I will be using here to decrease the loop count. So this is actually a simple program. Uh, so after we compile and everything, make sure it's, it's, it's successful. So next thing, so this is actually the main layout. So we can immediately start uh, to construct our circuit. So for that, this is the component mode click on the component mode and just click on the pick from libraries so you can see here pick devices so as you can see here there's a lot of uh, categories so we are going to search under microprocessor ICs if you double click on this we'll have a lot under the subcategory so for subcategory we are going to choose PIC18 family so as you can see, there's a long list of uh, devices. So we are searching for PIC 18458. So you can scroll down. So yes, we have it here. I see 18 F458. So after clicking OK and click OK. So you can see now the your mouse cursor becomes like a pen. So if you click, if you do the left click, you can see diagram like this. So you can just drop it here. You can actually enlarge this a little bit. 
you have this PIC 18F458. Now um, we are going to, in order to make this work, this pin number one, you see here is VPP, you need to connect this pin number one to five volt. So if you want to select the terminals, so if you go here, this icon actually represents the terminal modes. So click this. So you already have few terminals here. So the terminals that we want is the power terminal. So double click. I'm sorry, you don't have to double click. Just click on this power terminal and you can start going. So you have the power terminal and you just bring over and draw this there. So left right click on this, edit properties, then you can type plus five volt. Click OK. So now you see this plus five volt. So now um, you need to connect this to five volt in order for this microcontroller to work. Now next thing what we're going to do is we're going to connect uh, LEDs to port B uh, this port so for that we need uh, animating LED and also we need a resistor value of 330 so again we are going to go back to the component mode so click on the component mode and we pick from library so now we just type here under the keyword we type LED so as you can see, there's a lot of LED displayed. So if you see under the results, it's a lot of LED. So what we're looking for is animated LED model. Okay, animated LED model. So let's choose a color. Let's say green. So we'll choose green LED. So you can see the schematic model here. So we're just going to click OK. And we can start drawing LEDs. So we need want to rotate this clockwise. And then we're just going to draw another one. So we need a total of eight. And this should be here. So we have seven number nine. So we have eight LEDs now. So we have eight LEDs. So now we need to connect them ground so in order for them to connect to ground we go back and get to terminal we choose the ground terminal and we just draw one ground terminal and we make connections to all the LEDs
So here you go, we make the connections to all the eight LEDs. Now we need to connect this to resistors. So again, we go back to open mode, pick from devices, you just type RES resistors so you can see that we have a resistors output and we choose 0.6 or metal film. So you see we have a lot of uh, results. So we are looking for a value of 330. So supposed to be 330R. This one. So just double click this. Okay. And connect the circuits. And we're going to connect the first one. Just have to undo this. Let me just undo this virus. We are done. So this is the circuit. So you can actually zoom to area to see. Sorry, not zoom to area. Actually zoom to view the entire sheet. Actually you can see your entire sheet. What we're going to do is we're going to load this program and see how it's working. So in order for us to load, you just keep your mouse cursor. Right click and edit properties of microcontroller. So you can see uh, the pr processor clock frequency is let's change it to 40 because the delay calculation is done based on 40 megahertz so here you see under the program file we need to browse for the file 
So um, browse back to the file or to the folder which you have created your program just now. And you can see there will be two output files .cof and .hex. So we need to load this hex. So double click on this and you can see you can actually load the hex file into the microcontroller. So you click OK. So now it is ready to run. So what you're going to do is you're going to run the simulation by clicking the play button. So when you play, 